blasting technologies now has more stripe hogs working around the world than our four closest competitors have combined. Frequently visitors come from all parts of the world and want to know more about this incredible machine built by an incredible team. Most of the time I start at the tip at the end of the spear which is the water blasting heads. This really is where the work occurs and all of the other equipment is designed to support this important component. I also generally start by explaining that we have nine competitors around the world and that it's very helpful to understand what we build in the context of what they build. By forming a foundation of understanding, eventually we come to form a foundation of opinion and decision. Let's take a look for just a moment on a competitive head and then we'll take a look at stripe hog head. This unit here weighs close to 30 pounds and produces a 10 inch pattern. You can see there's 4, 8, 12, 16, or 17, 18, 19, 20 jets on this head. Now, it spins obviously in a circular pattern. An important component of any water blasting head is the ability to hold on to that, the ability to protect the nozzles. And so you see here, this is a nozzle protector that slides down over top. This is actually for the eight inch head, which I don't happen to have here with me. But just zoom in on this here, and I'm gonna set this on the ground because it's very heavy. And you can see that this head bolts to the shaft, of course it's positioned like this, with five bolts. And there's of course a seal here to attach each one of these, which is a nozzle extender to prevent turbulence at the jet, also introduces a host of additional leak points. To machine this part, you have one, two, three, four, five leak points potential there. Where it connects here would be a sixth potential point of leaking. And then at the base of here would be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And then you of course have to add an additional 20 for where the nozzle itself attaches to the nozzle extender. And if my math's right, that's 47 leak points. When you go to attach the head, there's five points of connection there and these bolts all have to be torqued into the main shaft. Five additional bolts that hold this primary to the spray head and five more bolts that hold that on there. And then of course the nozzles shoot through the plastic and the plastic protects the nozzles. Last I checked, this component from a competitive source was $135. Now let's take a look at the stripe hog method. What you see here held in my hand is the entire rotating apparatus that spins all of our spray bars from six inches clear on up to 36 inches. Amazing. This would be our comparable head to produce a 10 inch pattern. You can see they're quite similar in pattern and it simply attaches to the rotating apparatus. It just spins on, spins off, and there's a simple brass seal in between the two. Now this is off of a different head and Water Blasting Technologies offers heads from six inches up to 36 inches and they all spin on and off just as easily as what you see there and simply a cotter pin attaches and here you can see a used one and uh, this piece is about $17 and you can see how easily it attaches and what a great wear piece it is. This is from an 8 inch 8 jet bar. Now if I were to try to lift the apparatus that spins this particular bar, uh, I would surely not be able to do that. It's a very, very heavy uh, and large piece of equipment. 
let's take a look for a moment. If you'll just come over here and take a look at the dual head that is a component on the Stripe Hog 8000. This machine produces 12 gallons per minute. Each of these heads handles six gallons per minute and handles bars from 22 inches to 36 inches. You can see if you'll just come around over to this side to position these heads along this bar, you simply loosen this piece and this slides freely in and out. The wheels can be positioned in a wide variety of configurations by simply loosening this bolt, this bolt, and they'll swing around. And if you loosen these two bolts, the whole thing can swing, can slide uh, freely up and down this bar. If you wanted to, you could position both heads on this side of this rotary actuator located in the center of the arm. So many configurations are available. This happens to be our five axis arm. We offer three axis, four axis, and uh, a fifth axis as well. Many times a customer will have barrier walls that they want to clean or even tunnels. And this arm can extend even in the vertical position and reach uh, upward. So uh, one last thing that I didn't mention is that uh, each of these wheels is also easily adjustable. You can see it goes up and down. And this is critical in maintaining an appropriate distance between the uh, the blasting nozzles and the road or runway surface.